during the marches which he participated in, people who were full of fear and hatred. Mr. Lucas said that the American Negro is either going to be free or he's going to be dead. Now you get this straight. You can kill all the black folks you want to, baby, but you will not kill the freedom of black folks. It's coming. We're going to get it. We fought in every one of your damn lousy wars, baby, and you give us nothing. Now the war is going to be here because we're going to be free. Now you kill all you want to, but we kill too. I don't agree with the moderator nor Reverend Robinson that we want some kind of agreement. We want agreement by which we can live or die. You too. If you won't listen to me when I'm going to appeal for the Negroes because you have no concern for the Negroes, listen to me when I make an appeal for America. You claim you love America. Well, we love America. But you are driving us back and you are making a Samson out of us and we are going to pull down the pillar. Should you try to pretend that I'm crazy because I want the America to be saved? And then you think we have no right to ask for something? Is it too much to ask you to grant us human dignity? Should we be put down and shot to death for this request? If so, you can aim your guns. What the hell do you think we care about dying if you're going to deny us the right to live? Now, I feel no need in the lane for a big and, and serious title, but... Family, uh, we're back. Ain't too good on the other side here. I was telling you guys about some type of like drone strikes and what have you. And um, you got folks over there in Israel that are pretty uncomfortable, man. All right, no, they're uncomfortable. You're talking about a big war or what could start World War Three or whatever they're sitting here talking about here. All right, it's a big deal over there. Huh? No, not really. No, no, not really. Feel like it. It ain't so fun when a rabbit got the gun, man. It's not. No, when you can't bully and the U.S. then told you that they don't even want to get involved in it. All right, now, we straight. You're going to stand over here. Because this ain't some small tip where the U.S. is just coming in here to make a decision based upon a group that they like to give uh, a lot of economic resources to. This ain't just that. Dude. That's more, it's more of the layers of, all right, <clears throat> now you got a bully that's going to knock on your door that's time enough for you. All right? No, everybody else sitting around now like, nah, man, you handle your own dirty work. Ain't no need of you looking around. You're getting weapons from the U.S. You're getting funding. You're getting all this extra stuff. Go handle Iran because they checking for you. No, they, I, they just came down the block and said they were looking for you, Hoss. All right. I mean, we didn't give you up, of course, but you understand? All right. When you bully in other spots here and prepared to cause uh, havoc and terror, man. All right. You have wings, uh, jokers that step out of here, man, and poke their chest out. I'm incentivizing nothing. I'm just having a conversation about what's going on. And let me let you hear the residents from over there. All right, fair use. We don't want the war with Iran. They attack us. 
I really hope it won't be a big war now. None of us in Israel want a big war. Um, so I hope that's it. And I hope Iran will stop now. Um, I imagine it, uh, Israel will respond because, I mean, our whole country was covered in missiles and drones. Iran is a big and a powerful country. And we hope the Israeli army will be able to hold up and do what they have to do at this point. Covered with missiles and drone toss. Drones and missiles. At this point, America is supporting us in England, and I hope it will continue. We don't want a war with Iran. They, they, somehow they can't accept a Jewish people living here. This is our homeland. It's written in the Bible. Now I'm not here to argue with you about the Dominant Society's book. Because it wasn't meant for you to discriminate against the darker skinned people here, Hawks. That's not what it was supposed to be made for. All right. If we're talking in the classifications of in of religion, Duke, and all of this other stuff here, Hawks, in which a good percentage of folks like are not even attached to at all, this is just for political purposes and to keep you economically caked up. That's all this is about. All right. While a lot of them go ahead to mention that to soften you up in the mind wise, the truth of the matter is a good deal of them don't study in any of this, nor do they attach it to their day to day. It is only when havoc strikes that you hear some of these folks come in, come forth and bring this about. When you had that little black dude walking around a uh, college campus and he was asking all these folks in there, he said, uh, if you had an opportunity to pick what uh, you know identity that you are, that you could be up and in what you are right now, what would you choose to be? The Asian woman, she said, white. All right, no, the Indian dude, all right, no, he said, oh, white as well. Uh, the black folks were the only people that said, you know, the freedmen that they choose to stay there, you know, on, underneath for the prophecies of, of their, their lineage, all right? But a lot of these groups out here are shaky, all right, because of the lines and fashions and different orders of white supremacy and and and, and uh, countries, uh, such such as the lands that they're over in. All right, no, it, it is what it is. Now that you got you going ahead to beat your chest like a silverback gorilla and, and stand on top of this one and that one, the U.S. is telling you to cease fire and chill out when it comes to the smaller hungrier more deprived uh, the folks here i'm watching the videos and i'm like damn maybe i can't chill out for a second all right you you, you call and said you're gonna have talks and next thing you know you sneak attacking somebody all right now next thing you know all right somebody has decided to pick a fight with you and the real deal is you can't expect the rest of the world to have sympathy because you shouldn't have been out here picking fights and, and all this raggedy stuff shouldn't have been going on in the first place dude uh, and when people tell you to come to the table to chill and you agree to do that, you need to stick to your word. You don't use that to optimize a secret attack to go bust somebody upside the head because now you know they're vulnerable. All right. No, man, people find that is dishonorable. And before you know it, you're getting attacked like that on the same damn levels. No heads up, no warning because you ain't played a game fair. All right. It is what it is. Mm hmm. And I'm going to stand right here across the street and mind my business. All right. Ain't got nothing to do with us. Not at all. All right. Speaking of these terms here, too, here. Uh, now, I'm hearing any cases here where the sister said Italy is one of the most racist spots here in America. I can imagine that. All right. Even for the cases of folks that like to copy things with the Italian mafia. All right, that's very racist as well. All right, it's a lot of truth. And what a lot of our elders said here about bootlegs chasing behind, telling me the stuff and putting suits on and what have you. But let me let this sister get to her story. Fair use. There is one country you cannot pay me to visit again, and it has the worst culture of racism that I have ever experienced in my time abroad. I'm reviewing popular tourist destinations based on things to do and what it's like for Black people and people of color. My first time traveling to Italy was through the NYU study abroad. Black people and people of color. Come on, man. Could y'all stop talking like this? 
you young too, man. You, some you folks kissing ass, you hoping to get a job somewhere, man. I, I don't appreciate it. All right, don't say minority people of color, black and brown, anything around in these TikTok videos. We automatically gonna look at you like an operative, dude. I'm up early in the morning and my senses are up, dude. All right, and black people and people of color. People of color are getting what black people ain't, so you don't need to defend them, Hawks. All right, what is this? I'm reviewing popular tourist destinations based on things to do and what it's like for black people and people of color. Right. My first time traveling to Italy was through the NYU study abroad program. And when I made this decision, the only thing on my mind was the pizza, the Vespas, the romance, basically the Lizzie McGuire movie, because this- He was down there trying to chase Zaddy. Oh, so you was down there possibly trying to link up with Zaddy. She had cut her hair down low. All right. Now we see now we see what it is. All right. Okay. No, you all right. This is what you were trying to do. Hold on. This is what they showed us on TV. But one thing I didn't realize at the time was that all of these examples of this romanticized image of Italy was told through the lens of white people. You mean the same country Lizzie McGuire was falling in love with is the same country where they were throwing bananas at their first black minister? Sure is. Oh, but Nicole, that's just a political thing. That doesn't really happen to both. She had bananas thrown at her. I had beer thrown at me. And then I was called a disgusting black woman by this man right here. Well, obviously you did something. He was unsuccessfully flirting with some white girls in our group. And when he got upset, he started hurling insults at them. Then a black woman went up and was like, hey, don't talk to women that way. And everyone on the beach just stood there as he manhandled her. So when I went up to- Damn. Cause that ain't America, Jack. All right, it ain't. And all of these little lovey dove comfortable, you know what, grab your damn uh, 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 fur, or excuse me, your meat comforter, all right, and come on over here and get down because this is where the love and romance is, all right. You no, know, the societal laws in a good good deal of these places is allows brutality and worse to take place. No, you you're wondering why everybody just stood there and ain't say nothing. That's the norm, huh? That's the norm. All right, and worse. All right, you talking about in front of you in broad daylight, man. Don't get me started with their people being off code in their country in front of you. All right, getting yelled at, Hoss, is the, the 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 least amount of punishment there to get your daughter to get screamed at. All right, no, for her walking past a Mac, excuse me, a, a Mexican restaurant to go into a soul food restaurant. All right. No, she might end up come up come up missing, but look, to get screamed at by her father is the least on the list. All right, uh, of uh, you say um, punishment statutes. All right, well hold on. Don't talk to women that way. And everyone on the beach just stood there as he manhandled her. Mm -hmm. So when I went up to defend her, punched him in his arm so he would let her go. He threw beer on us and called us disgusting black women, even though we had nothing to do with why he was rejected. And I have traveled all up and down that country and it's not even an isolated incident. Their feelings of disgust are palpable. I've been dramatically avoided on the street, looked down upon if I'm begging for money instead of asking for direction, ignored by whole adults to the point where I had to ask children for directions because adults wouldn't even bother to look my way. And yes, so far, lo italiano. Italy's got good food and interesting history. And yes, some black people go and they just love it. It's great for people who are interested in the arts and beautiful architecture. But based on my own far too common experience, Italy gets a one out of 10 for me. If you're yeah, Zaddy wasn't too fond of you. All right. They are very serious down there with their little Italian bloodlines and stuff like that. No, the code is different. All right. And their little bills and whatever laws they got passed allow them to discriminate on upon you. This is what Zaddy chasing gets you. All right. No, I believe was that a one. Yes, because Zaddy didn't. All right. No, he was objective towards you. You couldn't get in. You run right here with this bald head thinking I'm going to sink into Italy. All right. And Italy said they didn't want any. All right. No, that's just what that went. All right. I'm glad you enjoyed the food, man. What a waste of money. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> waste of a damn vacation trip, man. 
And you could say that and, and put that in the bank here, Halls. Some of you jokers be going through damn midlife crises, so you just go and 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 take all your money out your damn savings and shave all your hair off your goddamn head, Halls, and your craziest cat shit, prepared to go to Italy and do what? I was thinking about that that Janet Farrell, that what you call it movie. I was like, man, you need to get your life together, man. Speaking of getting your life together, I don't even want to show this type of degradation, man, from some immigrants, some tethers in here, man. All right, this shit was bad, dude. No, they caught two individuals, man, behind the dumpster, man, grown-ass men. All right, grown men. Let me start it here from another section. The dude had to come out and scream at these guys, man. All right. Late at night behind a dumpster. <clears throat> no, I'm putting your business out there. Oh, Santee, don't do that. No, mm -mm. I'm going to up early. All right, and it is what it is. All right, got two grown men behind a dumpster. All right, you're trifling. All right. And you tell me what was going on back there. All right. You explain to me. All right. Hold on. All right. Hold on here. No, I got to fast forward. I got to fast forward, Hoss. All right. Uh, this looks bad all the way together. Hold on. All right. So you didn't got called out. All right. Open up. Open up. Open up. Man, man, what you doing, man? Oh, man. Who is this man, father? Who's his father? Look. Look at this. is trifling, Hawks. All right, this is dead to right trifling, man. All right, no, man, get it out of here. We don't need it here, hoes. We're good. All right, y'all acting like special skills, man. All right, no, he's trifling. He got a book bag. All right, no, this guy's trifling. He leaned down to get his book bag. Who is this man, father? <laughs> uh, uh, who is this man, father? These <laughs> stars. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> come on, all oh, come on, you got to take that back, man. You you can't have that over here, man. All right, no, late at night thinking ain't nobody know, man. All right, no, who you know who is his father? All right, one more again, man. No, you're trifling. All right. No, the Indian dude had to come back there and say, hey, man, get the hell out of here. What do you think you're doing? All right? You know, you, you're right there, but you buy his establishment. Yeah. Who is this man, father? These <laughs> oh. scars. Tellers, man. Y'all could have stayed at home to do this, man. No, you could have stayed all right before you crossed the border to do that. You had to come in here with that, man. All right, don't ask us anything, man. When we looking over, we're very suspicious about these cats and these little nefarious cartoon characters, man. Who's this nigga? Is he smiling? He's smiling all hard and shit, man. No. All right, good deal. You ain't right. If ain't nobody looking. 
You understand? No, ain't nobody looking. All right? And he caught you back there. No, if a, a fellow immigrant came back and the owner, store owner, came out there and caught you. All right? Maybe y'all cut this nonsense out here. Now, fair use, Professor uh, Roja Benjamin's honorary degree speech at Spelman's College. All right, fair use. Black faces in high places are not going to save us. Just look at the black proponents of Cop City in Atlanta's leadership class. Black faces in high places are not going to save us. Just look at the black woman's hand, ambassador at the UN voting against a ceasefire in Gaza. That is our blackness and our womanness are not in themselves trustworthy. Yes, they are because we don't owe Gaza or Israel anything. We don't owe them. They owe all to us. Our government is funding them. All right, yes, we ain't got nothing to do with it if, if they're going to have war troubles on their hands with impoverished spots that the U.S. has chosen to let be impoverished as they sick super high-powered weapons across the border where you can literally get shot, all right, for trying to come over there. We ain't got nothing to do with all of this, man. All right, you ain't gonna pass no guilt to us talking about black faces in high places in a ceasefire. All right, you can add that energy to reparations and not say anything at all. We have no energy towards that, D. Every time you say it, you actually sucked all the energy and the oxygen out the damn room here. All right, because folks know you on it. Now, let me play the rest of this here, man. It's all this suspect here. If we allow ourselves to be conscripted into positions of power that maintain the oppressive status quo, our blackness and womanness are not themselves trustworthy. If we support the occupation of black neighborhoods with so-called better trained police or remain silent about the genocide of oppressed peoples around the world funded by our tax dollars. And here, let me please shout out the incredible Spelman students and AUC siblings who have been organizing with Stop Cop City and Justice in Palestine, among many other troublemakers in this room. You all remind us that college is not a waiting room to enter the real world, but that you can start transforming that world right here, right now. It goes without saying, but let me just say it anyway. For student activists speaking out courageously for Palestine and Congo and Haiti and to stop Cop City, they should not be threatened with expulsion, loss of scholarships, or, or have public safety called on them for protesting. Yeah, were you speaking mainly for the terms of a non-black agenda in here. All right? Now, I, I just have to say that. What, what, what is this here? They're out here talking about these water guns now and telling people to be safe because they're trying to provide cover for the race soldier who shot uh, that 15-year-old. That's what that is about. But we go back in here to the rounds politically here and to these jokers, all right? Because these heifers won't quit it. They did a little promo real quick with Kamala Harris in her office. So now he got the press secretary. And it's like, yo, you don't have any freedom over here. I guess that's with Erica Badu, whoever this is over here. I'm not even sure if it is Erica Badu. I know it's a girl from a different world. But... They're over here with the crew from different world, all right? And look, they, they've they got to get every inch of this bull crap out of this. We're tired of the damn pandering. You're a tether. You know nothing about our culture and history, Hawks. You watched a couple of Negro TV shows 
and got the words down pat. All right. Oh, we're going to have the people from different world on here. So just watch a couple episodes and look on it. And you got to have the people there that she would have no need to connect herself to black society here, Hawks. She's happy. She just knows some of the words there. All right. You don't know anything about our damn lineage. All right. This tether in here. And you're still not getting any black support. And you can bring the cast of Martin in here next. And you ain't getting no black support, Hawks. Look at this pandering. Fair use. It's a different world. Woo! where it come from. We're saying it now. It's real phony in that room. Nah, it's real phony in there. All right. Look at your girl there in the white there. Look, look at her, look at look at my sister in the white. All right. There's a lot of pandering going on. Her and Dwayne are in the back there talking. All right. And funny business. All right. Now they understand racism, white supremacy, and what it means for politicians to come out here and use you. And and to have the little puppet bootlicks dancing around the room. You are a tether. This brings no more valid uh, validation than if you brought Joy Reed out here. All right. No. You understand? And, and in the means of struggles and getting gigs and trying to stay afloat and being relevant and getting certain opportunities. Nobody there in that White House can speak for the career of those, those individuals, but you're here to get a, a few sound bites and photo ops, man. All right. This is what their campaign has been. From them to Saucy Santana and Trina to whatever rapper and entertainer they can go ahead to get here. And speaking of rappers and entertainers, all right, now let me go ahead and show you guys something here. Young brother made a video pleading out. Um, he's saying that the rapper, um, what's this, what's this rapper, uh, the baby ran off with twenty thousand dollars and he didn't finish the video he paid for. Now I watched a piece of this, and the most I can say is, brothers and sisters, if you got something important to do with a major interview, don't let some of your flunky friends be around or anybody like that. Niggas will destroy your one opportunity, dude, just because they know they not going nowhere. All right? No, I'll be damned if this nigga advance me. All right, say something slick to the baby. All right? And, and the baby turned around and got the hell out of there. He get his money up front. He don't care. It's on you if you want to take a chance here. It's all in the contract to disrespect him or make him feel uncomfortable. Like, I don't got to sit in here. Hell, let the lawyers deal with it. And in most cases, he know you ain't got enough money to sue him anyway. He's giving you a deal by giving you an interview for 20000 This is the way he looks at it. All right? And you got your chump ass, hating ass friend sitting in the background. Some folks don't want to see you win, man. They don't. All right. Now, the average nigga, man, I don't, we talking about male, the average dude, I don't trust him. I, I don't trust him far, further than I can throw him. I don't. All right. I, I automatically assume you're lying, dude. This is just how I move. All right. No, I don't have time. I ain't playing with niggas. All right, and it is what it is. All right, no, this is why it's respected. Now, I don't go around vulgar trying to disrespect people here, Hawks. All right, but I understand in America here, yeah, the date with social media, social media, and everything else that bullshit is just simply bullshit. That's all it is. All right, a lot of niggas are acting out with absolutely nothing, just trying to get attention, man. All right. Now, let's go over here to this man's situation. We'll be right back. Fair use. Fair use. All set, bro. I'm going to be real, bro. Like, I'm defeated, bro. Like, I don't know how long I could do this, bro. 
my grandma gave me ten thousand dollars out of the twenty thousand, bro, because she wanted to see this video before she go, bro. She battling cancer right now, bro. Like, and I did this shit for her, bro. My great grandma, bro. Like, I don't believe you. All right, he said he's nineteen, or he's. I I still don't believe you. Now, if you try to make sure whatever she gave him ten thousand dollars, I I don't look, man. I don't believe everything somebody tell. Let's just go ahead and keep going. Hold on here. Hey. I'm at a loss for words, bro. Can y'all please tag the baby and tell him please run this video back, bro? Please run a video back, bro. I put my all into this, you, bro. I'm 19, bro. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, bro. A lot of people don't make it to this position, bro. Please. And that's the baby stepping off. Ended up getting into it with his boy. He had everything set up for his production. The whole nine. And it's like, get your clown niggas out of here. It shouldn't be extra distracting when he pull up. And you got your clown ass, weird ass homeboy sitting around. Everybody don't want to hear their jokes. They're there for your entertainment. That's your homeboy or homegirls you got around there. All right. That's what some people got to understand to distinguish it. To, to separate business. You're putting 20,000 down. So that means it can't be this shit got to go down without a hitch. And the only way that you can make sure that that goes down is to make sure that you keep these levels professional here. All right. Hold on. I just deleted, bro. Just delete it. Yeah, like I'm a whore. Right. And don't nobody even know who the hell you is, dude. No. I we know the baby. We know him. You sitting here talking about you playing like I'm a hoe. Let your mans get the bag. Now he's crying on social media. He got to involve his grandmother and all this other stuff. Y your man's messed your bag up, dude. All right. He talking about some, oh, he playing like I'm a hoe and all that. And I, and I can see what's going on here. As you see the baby, he just steps off. You, he ain't got time to get in altercations. This this uh, is a young man that we have known personally that's shot a man in damn, all right, in Walmart, all right, and killed him. All right, so you know he's about his business. You no, know, he's got a certified ticket there in the streets. You no, know, somebody got shot for um. <laughs> it was a news story of a of a strange individual getting shot for being on his land. All right, I guess it was a fan or something. All right, and <laughs> some high type of way he got on his property. All right, and somebody shot his ass. They didn't kill him. All right, but he was out of commission enough for law enforcement to pick his ass up. All right. No, he had legal right, man. They were trying to see if they could charge him. All right. They were mad about that. No, he put a <laughs> he wanted to put some charges on that young man. All right. So I, I doubt it's about the cases of him running uh, for some smoke or whatever folks will try to say here. No, his gangster is respected. All right. It just looks like he had a disagreement with whatever little the, the homeboy he had in there. And when you see him talking, that's why you, you see him cut on that dude in the blue. He like, yo, chill, 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 chill. And he's running after the baby. And it's like, dude, business is business. All right. I ain't come in here to argue with your weird ass homeboy. All right. No, I ain't expect to even to, to go through anything like that. He's used to the things being complimentary here. All right. You're in somewhat of a whatever setup that you have here. All right, I'm gonna put it down like that. All right, you got to be careful if you thinking if you putting hit. I put I'll put my all into this, this, that, and the third. That's more reason, all right, to keep it business like if that's what you want the tables for, which you were. All right, listen to his homeboy again. Fair you. I just deleted, bro. Just deleted. Yeah, yeah, deleted. He's playing like I'm a whore, right? Right? Damn. 
Yeah, well, it is what it is. And what you call those young men are called once in a lifetime opportunities. When you got moguls and people moving around, chasing the bag all around the country, all around the world, this is what he's doing. All right. That's not somebody who got time like that to play games with people. All right. No, he got a bunch of kids. All right. Now, I'm speaking to the context of simple things that we know that's just simple Googling context. All right. So these are once in a lifetime opportunities here that you just let your homeboy mouth off to. All right. Like like the baby needed something in that room. He didn't need anything. He was good. Now I'm in here. Are you page at 20? I'm prepared to give you some of my personal time so you can ask some questions. All right. And, and get your YouTube joint off the ground. All right. Every individual in that room should have respected that. All right. This ain't the time when you get into your feelings and start acting like a hoe. All right. Because the women are around and you you feel uh, demasculated here. All right. <laughs> All right. From this brother strutting in here and, and likes camera actions, ain't nobody talking to you no more. All right. No, all the energy and attention is on him. All right. Some of these niggas get weird like that, dude. All right. Especially a little broke, defeated nigga in the room, man. That'd be the first guy to pop off. All right. Well, I say for folks that got you got something like that and you've established something for yourself, you don't want yeah, underneath for no circumstances do you want to be around some like altercation like situation with some weird ass dude. All right, to catch you interviewing, you don't even know him. You're trying to do him a favor. All right. I'm not giving no passes in here. That's grown man shit for you to strut off like that. All right. No, I ain't coming here to tongue wrestle. With your whole ass homeboy for the fact that he all right, he's struggling. All right. And he would like to hold, he he want to hold something, but he don't know how to ask for it. All right. Hey, that's crazy. And you shouldn't be in there catching attitudes like like the uh like, like tricks, all right, off of the players club. All right, when Luke threw him out the room. You shouldn't be in there like that, dude. If you that emotional, you need to get out of there. All right. Like, he ain't gonna be talking to me like I'm some hoe or something. All right. Yeah, you're right. He ain't gonna talk to nobody. All right, then there goes your boy's 20,000. Mm -hmm. No, he showed up. He showed up. He was there. All right. It's not his fault that whatever was written by within the context of the contract that he had, that you broke the rules. Mm-mm. Hell no. Call it petty. I would have did what the baby did, y'all. Mm-hmm. Knowing you got people that have a habit of, of suing you and all types of crazy stuff. Uh-uh. No, you got that. No, you're right. Now you're going to have to sit around that nigga for the rest of his life and hear about, man, I almost had that interview cuz. Yeah, you did, didn't you? You don't let people mess up your opportunities, dude. You don't do that, man. All right? And being an adult to show you how many quote-unquote friends you have, man. Some people, man, and your, your older folks tell you this, man. I did, at least told me a long time ago. Some folks are in your life to sabotage shit around you, dude. All right? And for the people that you know that can't get out their own way, you can have a relationship as far as to say what's up to them, how you doing. You ain't got to be hanging around them niggas. And they ain't got to be hanging around you. Bad company mixes for bad shit to happen. All right? And you know the people you can't vibe with. Niggas that you sit around with for too long. It's like, man, I got to get the hell out of here before. All right? Right. 
as an adult, you you process this thing here, and I, and, and I'm going to give this to everyone. Be comfortable going into these damn having settings around here where folks have a more like mind as you. All right. No, where it's less stressful tension and energy about folks trying to argue about petty things. You can't get past certain stuff here in a conversation if you got jokers in a room having a damn dick swinging contest. Excuse me, man. You can't get past anything. All right. There's nothing to learn or anything else. People are watching more on the subject matter of the nonsense proceed all right, other than whatever message that can come across. All right. I say I stay away from stupid. Speaking of staying away from stupid, man, um, the the cases of just talking to one of these damn Negroes here and barely saying anything as they tell you about how they are a Power Ranger and look at my reputation. My name is just that and the third. You give them a little bit of cat. All right. She caught this uh, young man slipping. All right. She caught him slipping, and now this effort is all over social media doing what jokers like herself do when dudes go to sleep and and want their information back. Hold on here. Fair use. You know what else is some crazy ass shit? Like, niggas always be recording bitches. Always be exposing bitches and all this shit like that. But when a motherfucker get put on the spot back, then it's a motherfucking problem. Now you mad, huh? Because I'm trying to get my coins, bitch. Huh? Fuck you mad at me for? Because you're trying to get your coins. All right? This is raggedy, man. I mean, you look raggedy doing this. All right? This is a bad look. All right? No, it's a bad look. This how the fucking game go. Charge it to the game, bitch. Stop crying. All y'all motherfucking weak ass niggas just mad. Lame ass hoes. Fuck you talking about. Don't be mad because I want my bag from the shit. You damn right. I got some of my bag, but I ain't get all of it, bitch. And guess what? This story gonna give me the rest. I bet you that. If I just would have got my money, I would have shut up. Well, I mean, since I'm going to court, I might as well leak the news, the addy, the videos. Make sure y'all hit that link in my bio. Video coming soon. Another thing, if if your house and all this stuff is under NDA and all this shit, and you can't record and all this shit, why do you call me back three weeks ago to come sign an NDA then and promise to pay me money after that and before? Ma'am, you just shoved yourself out of any opportunity where it is a bag around for your little loud mouth, chatty patty, snitching ass to get close to anything. You're talking about some damn all right, bottom of the barrel. I, I didn't call you bottom of the barrel. All right. But whatever level a YouTuber here, Hawks. All right. So you will never climb the ladder. Whatever the exercise in there with him, that's your goal line. All right, because with anybody with any more economic wealth than him would never let you come in proximity of them. All right, no, that's just the truth. All right, so I'm trying to get my coins up. All right, this is what I mean by social media taking stupidity here and feeding the algorithms with it. Usually, dirt balls like this, if you ain't had no talent, man, nobody even paid you any mind. Now the most hazardous people in the world all right, can get millions of views just for trashing you and going after you, Hawks. All right, going after a person who has some form of talent. You don't try to flip this around. You got exposed because you didn't come with the second half of the payment. That this is look, man. No, I'm keep look at look, man. All right. No, they, look, and for Dusty Broads like this, there's no shame. All right, there's no shame in her game. None. All right, the raggediness doesn't show itself. You understand that whatever little small, tiny bag he just gave her, that bread would be gone in, in under a month. No, in under a month, Paul. Mm hmm. 
and I guess this is some type of fans only model or whatever the case is, Hoss, but uh, when you don't care where you put your draws at, man, all right, this is what ends up traveling in front of your door. All right. Some of you niggas, if ain't nobody looking, man. That you hit me up about. Let's tell about how you hit me up about all of this. Now, who extorting who? Come on now, y'all. Of course he was going to come back with a story saying going to sue me. How else was he going to look good to the blog? I mean, you like a certified trick right now. Duh. Did y'all know that selling pussy in New York is legal? Oh, yeah, Vegas, too. Damn. Yeah, bro. You was in here simping, drooling, all right, and paying for trim. She got you on the books for paying for trim, Hoss. All right. Nope. There it is. There's all the evidence. All right. Nope. Now you can't say anything. All right. No, legally, somebody can knock at your door, man. All right, you're black, too? Nah, I'm just saying, you know. Because she said oh, in Vegas and all this, but this, I believe this says Georgia, right? All right, well, I'm not sure where he lives at, but I'm looking at her account. All right, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, uh, from... Uh, yeah. No, hold on here. Oh, fair use. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? That she got you did the right. That's what happens when you don't care about where you put your drawers at, man. All right. These are the things that happen. Hold on here. No, we're not done here with this joker. No, I believe I had a sister that had something to come forth with. Uh, Josephine Boltwright, what's going on? Gail, I see you in the building. All right, morning, y'all. All right, I'm surprised some of y'all are up here. Try to hurry up and get this through with here because I know I'm not going to be back here later on. Here. So I'm going to get it done. And I'm going to take me a nap, and then I'm going to take my behind to work here. All right? That's just how that's. Mm -hmm. Oh, fair use, fair use, and this is the same guy here that she exposed. All right, fair use. Fifty, you're black. You're not Trinidadian. You're not Jamaican. You're not African. You're not. You're not. Word. You're not Ghanaian. I'm not going to say too much because every time I choose to speak on how people outside of America view Black Americans as uncultured and we are this and we are that, okay. It's like, I, I can't say it because y'all don't think it happens. And then here it is, a person that all these Black Americans support and big up and love on and, and everything. This is what he thinks of you. You're an uncultured swine. <laughs> and you you were sitting up watching his stream all day you you voted for him to win awards yeah we love him we love him that's how he views you yeah like you don't have no culture and all of this stuff and black people show Buster Rhymes and black people show that other little wench over there talking about something she ain't black alright say word word all right and we rewarded them by making sure that they couldn't sell any damn tickets here nope because your fellow you don't got enough fellow trinidadians and all of these other uh jokers here whatever she was uh asking for that one lady or fellow jamaicans out here who got the bread who would like to go ahead and pay for your damn tickets you see who <clears throat> Piles, those venues are freedmen and the white folks that see freedmen paying for tickets. All right. 
No, they know a whole bunch of Negroes going to be in here. You automatically going to get a nice little uh, 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 select, a white crowd here coming in to buy tickets if they know it's going to be lit in there. All right? But you're going to need that word of mouth and the energy of black people. And if we ain't showing up to these things, you're dead. Who's that other crab cake I showed you here earlier? Yeah, he got his little bush meat eating ass on the damn stage talking about something. Yeah, I, you know, in Africa, you know, it's better because around here we shouldn't have to deal with this here. All this mess and stuff. I'm used to, you know, in Africa, man. And uh, he go to perform. They started booing him so bad you couldn't hear none of his lyrics. All right. They booed that nigga into, to, into, the, into the back of the forward to the bliss here, all All right. I ain't never hear a person performing live get booed like that. You couldn't hear one word. He was rapping. You just seen a body moving around on the stage. We're not playing with you all. Don't come in here talking that silly stuff to us. We understand blatant disrespect. Y'all just think here because you smile in front of certain Negroes who haven't said anything that now you can kind of go global with the eyes, you know. If some of you folks ain't, you ain't from our country. You ain't this. You damn right. We don't come from fleeing. We don't come from degeneracy. We don't come from running from our battles. We don't come from dodging and leaving our families behind. We don't come from, damn, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> sitting up at somebody's gate begging for meatloaf and entry and for us to, for them to take care of Roman boy and give us food for free. All right? No, we come from in integrity, dude, and participating in every war that the U.S. has had, Hawks. That's where freedmen come from, going through some of the worst oppressions of levels of white supremacy and still standing in our land and fighting for us and every damn body else. All right, let me let this sister finish it. Uncultured swine. How do y'all feel like we should interpret that? Maybe we should discuss that in the comments. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Meanwhile, online, you can get shipped and packaged bush meat, y'all, if you're interested in getting, um, they selling rat, okay, over there in, um, what you call it, one of these countries that we're not, that he said, uh, one of these countries we ain't, uh, and I'm fine with that. We got a huge rat. I don't know if they sedated his ass. So they won't, so she won't bite him. Or he just fed the joker so much he can't even move no more. All right, but that's a rat, Halls. Look at it. Hi, guys. Our bushmeat is now available now. This is our grass cotta. Can you see? A grass cotta or rat cotta, grass cotta. Hold on here. Let me go back here. And, she, and, and she's telling you that you can get. All right, dry, uh, dry bush meat is available right now. Okay, now other forms of bush meat can be dog, whatever, but it's in most cases it's some type of meat that has some type of germs and heavy cases of rabies and all these other type of diseases are in that meat. This is why certain countries will not allow you to bring that bullshit in there. They'll tell you to throw it away. All right, you ain't about to go ahead and get a whole bunch of people infected with this rat or this dog you sit here eating on. You're trifling. You're trifling. What rats do you know here, Halls, that don't have carry a whole bunch of damn diseases? Uh, a super rat. Hey guys, our bush meat is now available now. This is our grass cutter. Can you see? Let me lift it very well so that you can see the size. This is big grass cutter. You can buy the full one, you can buy half, you can buy quarter. If you want to send us a DM, can you see? This is full grown grass butter. Let me turn it so that I can see it very well. Can you see, guys? Send us a DM if you want. We'll dry it for you to export standard or more. Normal dry. You can fry it if you want the fry one. You can fry it. Thank you. Look at how big these goddamn rats have gotten, man. I can't get past the size of this damn rat. This is some terrifying stuff, dude. 
Now, I know in Philly, man, in a couple other spots, they had a whole bunch of these joints showing up. And what they was is like super rats, yo. Super, what y'all are hitting these bitches with steroids now? Come on, hoes. Come on. You know, a rat only got up to a certain size, maybe. All right, this is the size of a full-grown goddamn cat here, hoes. No, never mind you eating his ass, of course. But come on. I want to fry you. You can fry you. Thank you. Come on, you can fry it too. Fried rat. No, you good. You can you can have my portion of cornbread. All right. I'm good. All right. All right, you all right. How the hell they get that big, man? The hell you been shooting these jokers with, man? I ain't been eating rats. Been eating horse food, man. All right, that's scary to me. Big, huge, stinking ass rats, man. Yeah, I mean you don't like rats anyway, but Lord, man. I mean, talking about the size of cats, dude. All right, get bit by one of them motherfuckers, man. Excuse me, <laughs> you you get bit by one of them jokers. All right, all right. And you be in bad order. All right? I'm talking about seriously, take a chunk out of your arm. All right? Like a slab of roast beef. All right? All right? Take us back in history for a second. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No, let's be clear about that. No, let's really be clear about that. No, let's be clear about that. No, let's really be clear about that. No, let's be clear about that. No, let's really be clear about that. No, let's be clear about that. No, let's really be clear about that. No. Come on, Ben. This is for you. That's not how America works. President Barack Obama has begun new initiatives aimed at helping young American Indians or Native Americans overcome the many challenges they face from poverty to substance abuse. Why not target the African-American community? That's not how America works. And few have been more marginalized and ignored by Washington for as long as Native Americans. Yeah, you've been getting robbed for years. And if the Coons ever have to address you flat out, man, you know, it's gonna be a sad day there. To look you right in the eye and tell you, man, look, man, you did, you niggas didn't know that the that the uh, that the the order of the business was in. All right, or should I say, with the jig, the, the jig was in here also uh, for us to come in here to finesse you. All right, it's how they be looking at the Grio and some of these reporters, like, hey, man, you can't blow us up. But the point is, we all know the deal here at this point. Oh my God. Jonathan Lupton tries to stop a car thief. All right, Ricky, all right, Diggers, by firing five shots and misses all five shots and is ran over and killed. Yes, man. And I didn't realize the man was still in a vehicle here. I seen this early. I can't even show it, dude. He hit that man so hard. All right. He pretty much trampled over his body, man. But he hit him with one of them like tow trucks or whatever it is, trucks, man. All right. Work, work vehicles and trucks, man. And trampled over. What the hell? How the hell? What 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 the, what the hell? Yeah, they keep showing this joint with this uh, bush meat, man. How 
All right, so this is this nigga here. All right. That quickly, this little, uh, I guess, Haitian dude here in a response video. I wasn't even looking for this, but hold on. All right. Do you not think I am now? But you was buying, you was buying trim. You were. You got your mouth open all dumb. All right. No clown nigga can get on the internet, dude. That's why I say that the, 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 it's it's un, it, it's uninhabitable, dude, with these weirdos that can come here online. No, I know you were clowns in high school. All right. And you're buying trim. You have no game. When you get off of this keyboard, you're socially awkward, dude. And you don't know how to sit down and talk with anyone. All right. No, not really. That's why you're paying for trim. If the game was this smooth as you roll it off ahead, and that's what it would be here. All right? No, I'm in a line in the mix. I just seen, well, who's that cartoon character? DJ Academics. All right? Out here looking weird. All right, let me see if I can pull this up here. I don't know if Tony the Closer had it. One of these cats had it. All right? But I just seen DJ Academics over here looking weird. Having to explain himself. All right, his one of the, some young lady had a damn uh, recording of him. All right, begging her to come back and every damn thing else. It's like you niggas, you sitting on millions of dollars. All right, but you're out here raggedy and doing the most. Paying for the pussy is getting exposed. Is 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 weak. These hoes don't respect the game. All right. All right. And hold on. Ten steps ahead of everything that I do. Do you not think I know that I'm one of the biggest streamers to walk this fucking earth and I'm not ten steps ahead? I'm sorry because I'm I'm so humble, but I don't want I don't want to snap, bro. But I'm not ten steps ahead of everything people do, and say I'm ten steps ahead of you. Okay, first things to first, shorty. Do you know what the NDA is? Let me go ahead and explain it to you. NDA is a non-disclosure agreement. Okay, which you signed, Kiara Rush. You signed that, Kiara Rush. You did. You did, and it protects me from everything that we've ever talked about or ever ever talked about. It's cool because you 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 let shit out, right? Wait, and lie, by the way, you're a liar. Liar! Liar, you're a liar. You're a liar. Next. Next. Oh, no. Wait, hold on, Kiara. What did you post to me, Kiara? Not only did you sign an NDA, but you also, while I was sleeping, butt ass naked, decided to just post me online. Okay? Now, you call that, ladies and gentlemen, revenge porn. Now, those who don't know, what revenge porn? Okay, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't, she, she blocked the shit out of shit, okay? For those who don't know what revenge porn is, revealing or sexually explicit image or visual of a person posted on the internet, typically by former sexual partner without the consent of the object and in order to pause. Okay? Oh, wait, there's more? Or Now, despite what happened in January, I've made it my duty to never, ever be lied on again in my career. Man, get your weird ass off my screen, screaming at the top of your lungs. You're buying trim, man. I ain't putting no stress on anybody else here for running around here looking like Mick Dugit, nigga. I don't give a damn how much support you. You're still a clown to me. All right? Now, I don't fancy any of these damn weird niggas on here or the females. There's nothing on here that I see that I'm dazzled with. All right? Bottom line is me. I ain't got no disrespect here to the case of the youngin. You just a trick to me. All right. You just a loud mouth trick here, Halls. All right. Paying for paying for free goodies and snacks here, in which an actual mouthpiece, all right, will get you, Halls. No, without you having to reach in your pocket. All right. Niggas are so socially awkward, just screaming. I, 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 shut up, nigga. Shut up. Because you're paying for trim. You, 
You in there paying for trim. All right. Speaking of that, let me let my brother get at you first thing in the morning. All right. Yeah, he all weird. And we listen to him. Get your weird ass on, nigga. Smack you in the head with an Xbox controller, nigga. Get on. Huh? I'm gonna hit you, hit you, stand up in your head, Xbox controller, straight upside the head, dude. Get out of here, Halsey. Who's that weird? He said, Who's that weird nigga you got out there? Keep screaming every two seconds. All right, I can't do it. It's too early. I got neighbors, man. All right, my my act like call over here, ask if I'm all right. All right, no, I ain't, I'm not used to listening to that. All right, oh, my man's in here. He said he had to get a smoke in real quick. Hold on, my homeboy. I don't know where all these Africans keep trying to talk, man. Look how y'all live. Y'all live disgusting. You can't talk about FBA when Africans live like that, man. Stop talking about us. Stop worrying about us. We live free. We don't worry about y'all. But now we see how y'all live. Y'all are disgusting. <laughs> y'all could never be FBA. Stay out of FBA business. <laughs> We see how you guys live. Disgusted. Straight up. Disgusted. You damn right. Trifling. All right. Trifling. I'm talking about in Florida, nigga. No, not in Haiti. In Florida. All right. You got sour milk in a jug on the counter. All right. You know, a bunch of random shit mattresses and shit just piled up in the middle of the floor in the house and just, I'm just disgusting, hoss. Chip paint on the walls. No, in Florida, nigga, not in Haiti. All right, now that's the difference. That's the direct difference. Like my little messy dude that was just ain't that where he from? All right. Yeah, where well, you got your drawers everywhere. All right. Now you got to sit up in here and scream and holler and act weird. All right. No, because she put your business out there. All right. What were you doing in the first place? All right. That's the that's the case there. All right. You don't get in the line of fire. All right. What the hell is going on? Please, please come. <laughs> so he's saying this is how the Democratic Party is trying to get black voters. I agree. All right. No, back to that tether. There. Hold on, hold on. What we got here? People are confronting Hakeem Jeffries with genocide and war crimes against Palestinians. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> President Biden's leadership. Yeah, the guy with a flat top that ran in there, man. No, he had a flat top. All right. President Biden's leadership. You're a war criminal. How do you sleep at night? Who the hell is in that nigga in there with that kufi on? Man, don't try to tell nobody nothing you in there boot licking. All right, you're boot licking for Hakeem Jeffries. Don't tell nobody to calm down. All right, and this all here is some trash here, man. All y'all are some damn prop tools placed up in here, halls. It ain't going down like that. All right. So y'all got to keep bringing somebody in here in the cases who's black or they look black or they half black or they got some type of black affiliation. All right, whether the continent, Caribbean, or whatever, to keep doing this raggedy mission. All right, do men really overlook good girls for the city girl? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, the city girl guys got to hurry up and get the hell out after party time is over. Let me go ahead and put it to you like this. All right. 
from the mechanisms of taking care of some kids and your bills being paid and living strength rent, excuse me, uh, stress free. Uh, unless you live some large economic lifestyle, and I'm gonna go ahead and reach to that here. All right, uh, where you can afford to sit back here partying and blowing bread because having a bunch of hoes running around is expensive, dude. You know, that shit can be pricey. All right, and all this chilling and laying up and rather you're paying for bottles and smoking and doing all this other, that comes with the territory, all right? And that shit will wear in on your pockets within a few days. All right. This is why you see a lot of these guys here get a date with the economic living in here. Nigga, you can't really drive no basis for that. All right. You can't. All right. And ain't nothing steady on that that you're going to be able to maintain and keep your damn bills paid. All right. It, with, with, the, with the average so called, whatever, a player, player out here, all right, uh, here, year to date dealing with the cases of a city girl that ends up having you on the bad end. All right. There. And for the second part here, there is no such thing as a good girl. There ain't no such thing. All right. But the more the young lady that is more mentally stable and, uh, with, uh, uh, secure upon life here, less reckless, more organized, and this, that, and the third here, Hawks, you know, has a perception there within her femininity. She ain't reckless. All right, has decorum and discretion about herself as she moves about. That is the one there to roll with. All right, something that is coachable. All right, city to city girl comes in here already packaged for the game. All right, Santi just know what he's talking about. All right, they say it's for the streets, it belongs to the streets, then that's what it is. All right, and that's the preference, that's what the city girl is. Let me listen to what uh, this young lady is talking about. Let's get one second here. Fair you. It wasn't until I started acting like a bop that the niggas that I wanted wanted me back. When I was sitting at home with one body, literally my body count on one, waiting for a text back, being loyal, like I'll make food for the man, like I'm waiting for you to come home, just text me back, like literally. I was the nigga worst enemy. He don't, he don't like me. He don't want to talk to me or all this. When I was outside, popping out in music videos on the scene every night with all the baddies twerking, showing my body at the pussy, getting drunk. Now the nigga want to blow my phone up. Oh my gosh, like, why don't you ever hit me back up? Like all this and that. And then they post on Instagram that they want a homebody who stay at home, a girl with less than a thousand followers on Instagram, all this and that. Like, no, you don't. Mind you, I said acting like a bot. Don't actually crash out about these niggas. Like, don't run up your body count for these. It wasn't until I started acting like a bot. Uh, well, well, she's got the right little loser joke. Cause this is what social media does. It gives you your own list of, of fans and flunkies that will gas y'all head up. And the sister girl stuff does this too. All right. No, and she's sitting here begging this stuff up, and this would be the same joker sitting here to telling you that man ain't worth s. And if you don't move like this, and you can't get anybody's attention, the life is what you make it here, awesome. You go ahead to say that, all right. So if you perceive yourself a certain way out here in the world, that's what you're gonna go ahead to get back. What the hell's going on in here, man? Every time I look up, somebody's getting their ass whooped, man. Hold on. All right, I feel you, brother. Hold on. I feel you. No, I'm with all that. All right, hold on, OG. No, because it's that old man that came down there and, and leaped on them youngins and told him that he was going, he's going to snitch. All right, hold on here. Everybody can't speak like him because they don't have that gift. We all, I come from 45. 
So you what you see now, I mean, what my eyes see is different. What you think now and what my mind think is different because look how long I've been coming. And it's all about eating. And we don't have no land, so how can we eat? How can we eat and we don't have no land? Black man don't even know nothing about buying land. But the old black man a long time ago had land. Had their own cows. Had their own pigs. Had their own greens. Mm -hmm. Had their own everything. But then when we went in the integral, now ain't nobody coming to our places of business. <laughs> so we got to close down. Now people have moved in our neighborhood and selling us Lisa's chicken and selling us Chong no phone long. We don't even have a recipe with restaurants where we can sell. And we used to cook for white folks and everything. Now everybody else is cooking. When I was a boy, you didn't have nobody but them Pecklewoods, Indians, a few Mexicans, and a few Chinese. Pecklewood running everything. Everything closed on Sunday. Now since these other tongues done come over here, everything is open on Sunday. Pecklewood's closed on Sunday. So it's a new day and a new time. And I never thought that I would see what's going on in Georgia. When I come up, we don't have no phone. I can't call you. I can't text you. I can't video you. So if everything is new to me and me. Fair use, fair use. I sit back and say, thanks for letting me see. It. And I know it's time for me to go. Everybody got to wake up and be happy when you're young, then when you get old, you don't abuse your body so, and your body hurts so, and it's time for you to go. Damn. Well, part of that is the economic situation here. All right, if you ain't got folks in here that have to work themselves all the way. <laughs> Kid seen destroying a thousand dollar TV. <laughs> what the hell wrong with him? Uh, you gotta you can't let him come in there and how you gonna bring him in there and you ain't watching him and you got to pay for all of that and they keep putting him on the screen all right hold on here I recently came for documents proposed only Derek Cologne falsely accused Tyreek Nasheed of inciting alleged violent threats against himself and suggesting that an unleashed film about foundational black american history raised concerns about american citizens and of uh, uh puerto rican descent yeah he did do that hold on learning over descent safety uh, in my opinion derek cologne is actually talking to the federal government and not to the audience nor tyreek he is painting yet another target on foundational black Americans back because he, because of his tantrum tantrum from failed attempts to claim someone else's culture over his own. This is very dangerous rhetoric for black Americans alive today and those to come in the next few hundred years. I personally don't know what he speaks of when he mentions black and brown. I only ever marked black on all of my documents and applications and never have seen the word brown as an option nor in his new omb revert re revision all right please be safe out there fba family b1 all right go ahead and check this out highly offended Grace and peace, family. What's up? What's up? What's up? I want to come to you today to speak to you about something that recently came across my desk. In a recent Tariq Nasheed live, uh, one of his callers made some pretty, some pretty 
ugly statements when it came to myself and the microphone check uh, screening in New York City. Rather than me tell you about it, I want to let you listen to it, and then I'm going to come back and give some commentary. up what's up what's up i want to come to you today to speak to you about something that recently came across my desk in a recent Tariq nasheed live uh, one of his callers made some pretty some pretty ugly statements when it came to myself and the microphone check uh screening in new york city rather than me tell you about it i want to let you listen to it and then I'm going to come back and give some commentary. Grace and peace. <laughs> and as far as your, the, the microphone check for mayor, brother, I'm going to be there. Brother Sage, we coming through with the family, all the bells and whistles. Um, but uh, something that's actually bothering me, and I, I believe that you said on one of your spaces that Dr. Cologne is trying to make an appearance. Yeah. I, I, I don't think that would be a very good idea, brother. And I'm going to tell you why, because... Um, not only me, but a lot of the family have a lot of personal people. We have a lot of I'm from the Bronx, by the way. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of family from the Bronx. And we have a lot, a lot of people, a lot of our elders in our family are highly offended by Fat Joe, Buster Rhymes, and Dr. Cologne's remarks. So him, him attending this premiere would be only antagonizing to the family. And um, I'm just going to say this. I'm not holding nobody back if they feel the urge to, you know, jump up and act bad. So mm -hmm. um, so it, it, it would be... Uh, and his, it would behoove him not to show up at this premiere, not to antagonize the fam, let us have our space, let us tell our truth, and let us get the record straight. And I'll land there, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Now, now, now let me say for the record, now, everybody's invited. Everybody's invited, because I don't want the alone to hear this. Lord, I don't want him to hear this, and then he's going to make 20 videos. Oh, my God, they're threatening me if I go to the premiere of the movie. There you go. There you go, because we're 10 steps ahead of you. And let me tell you, speaking in the cases, new black media, we can't control who comes in the box and who comes in to say what's up with to us and what their thoughts are about you disrespecting our culture. These are these folks' opinions. Most I might say from folks coming on my broadcast is maybe, you know, a little bit with the cursing, you know, depending on things here. That's it. Other than that, speak your piece. All right. You talk about individuals who put work in, in the game, and not only that, us as freedmen watching everybody around steal our stuff. Look how they talking crazy to Beyonce. No, for performing and putting down a great record within Texan Hold'em, that's our culture anyway. We invented this stuff. All right, no, we can't let certain things slide when individuals coming in and trying to confiscate hit hip hop as well, trying to sign your name across the ticket. You weren't there. All right. And you're going to sit in here and poke fun at us afterwards when that one joker already had told on y'all that y'all got paid. All right. No, the government, the dominant society gave y'all a check to run out here. You fat Joe and that other weird dude. All right. Hold on here. Oh, they're going to. No, no, no. Because he no. Everybody y'all can come. You got everybody can come. We're gonna make sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, we we we're not. It's it's open to the public. This is a public movie. Everybody can come to it. Everybody can come to it. I don't want Cologne to run out here thinking that is somebody gonna do something to him because he's been on that already. He's been on that vibe like somebody's gonna do something to him. Nobody's no 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 no. Everybody can come. Enjoy yourself. Do do your thing. Well, I mean, that says it all. I'm truly sorry that that brother feels that way and that it had to get to this point. If I have said anything to the black community, it has always been that black Americans, along with Puerto Ricans and Caribbeans, created this culture beautifully together. It has always been together. I have never said anything to insult the black community. Those are my brothers and sisters. And I'm sorry that people feel that I'm doing something that I'm not. So I will refrain 
from attending the screen because I don't want to be the cause of something that is basically a serious misunderstanding. No, it isn't. And I agree with the guy that put this post up. I think you're calling out to the feds. Nope. Now, I think he's personally calling out to law enforcement. This ain't about him not offending black people. If that was the case, you wouldn't have seen him on Red Supreme's program and all these other joints in here. Keep exercising these lies, dude. He got in anywhere he could on Twitter every day. No, YouTube, anywhere he could spread these damn lies, dude. All right. No, he had it after we went and linked on him. And as we sat here and say this now, he still tells you he shares his opinions about Latinos being 50-50 and creating hip-hop and creating all of these black dances. All right, if that's your animosity towards us, you shouldn't be around us, and we don't want you around us, dude. All right? This ain't way back when where the operative can just sit there in the crowd and everybody's, nah, man. You need to be uncomfortable and then let folks letting you know that, nigga, this is not a crowd where you're welcome at. All right. Now, if you somebody of his ethnicity there and you didn't try to steal hip hop from us and you weren't part of this crowd of lying every time you got in front of a camera, you good. All right. But he understands and knows what he owes black society, which is more than a damn apology. But you owe us distance in space, Hawks. Take that shit up the block, man. Keep popping up in damn rather Twitter spaces and YouTube spaces and all this other stuff in here and lives spreading these lies, man. All right. No, we ain't shedding no tears because he don't want to show up. And this, this was to the government, Hawks. But it is what it is. We don't have to agree. I have my position, which I still hold, that blacks and Puerto Ricans and Caribbeans created this culture together from its inception. I still hold that. I believe that the evidence backs that up. But this is not something that we need to get violent over. That's for infants. That's for children. We can agree to disagree agreeably. And I don't want to tear this bridge apart. I want to build the bridge. And so I thought it was very irresponsible for Tariq. What? He can't control what his viewership says. And you played the whole clip. He cleared it up. What are you talking about? We're going to go back four minutes. All right, so he has it four minutes or whatever seconds. Let's go back. Everybody's invited. Everybody's in the urge to, you know, jump up and act bad. So, um, so it, it it would be uh, and his it would behoove him not to show up at his premiere, not to antagonize the fam. Let us have our space. Let us tell our truth. He can't let us let the record straight. And I'll land there, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Now, 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 let me say for the record. Now, everybody's invited. Everybody's invited because I don't want Derek Cologne to hear this. Lord, I don't want him to hear this. And then he's gonna make twenty videos. Oh my God, they're threatening me if I go. All right, and. Did he not predict the future? All right, dude, you're doing exactly what he said you were going to go ahead and do. You're clout chasing and you're using this here to uh, uh, try to shame folks into feeling sorry for you. You a grown ass man, dude. All right, what you mean? No, he ain't seven years old. All right, you're out here looking for smoke with adults, with black folks. We're not playing with you, dude. All right, we ain't got no bridges, Hawks. We got weird jokers who keep showing up to the party that don't nobody know like that, man. I go to the premiere of the movie. Oh, they're going to, no, no, because he, no, everybody y'all can come. You got everybody can come. We're gonna make sure you know. Yeah, yeah we we we're not. It's, it's open to the public. This is a, a public movie. Right. Everybody can come to it. Everybody can come to it. I don't want Cologne to run out here thinking that somebody can do something to him because he's been on that already. He's been on that vibe like somebody's gonna do something to him. Which I still hold. That's for children. Reek to simply let that man just keep talking about it. Instead of cutting him off and saying, brother, no, that's not what this is going to be. About. 
Well, he doesn't owe you an olive branch of anything. You're talking about decorum or discretion for your lies and your funky presence. So if you get punched in the mouth coming out the grocery store, Tyreek got something to do with that too? That's your lips, dude. What did you say? All right, you disrespected us as freedmen and you tried to steal hip hop from us and you lied about hip uh you participated with this lie of Latinos creating 50-50. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Nigga, because you stood in the back, nigga, with a cigarette and nodded your head while the record was playing does not mean you created hip hop. It means you stood in the back and smoked a cigarette while the record was playing, nodding your head. That's all it means. All right, you niggas is trying to take artificial rights and credits off of hip hop. You keep pointing to crazy legs. Originally, the young crazy legs wouldn't support that. Now y'all got him running around here halfway talking a little bit different. I don't know. All right, I know this much, dude. All right, I know that he didn't create no damn break dancing. All right, this shit got so bad you had. Uh, Italians talking about, oh, we were the number one graffiti artists, so we had a part to do in hip-hop as well, the Italians. Y'all had all types of strange shit popping off because of this. All right? Weird niggas at our front door with, with a with a, uh, all right, with a a bowl in their hand with their bottom lip hanging down, thinking they're going to get rights. You damn right you're going to get cussed out for that. All right? No, and if say if you walk from out the damn mess hall, all right, or the uh the smothers boy, all right, and somebody slaps the, the dog piss out you, all right, is that Tyreek's fault? Is it his fault because you was running your mouth? Cause you was lying in the streets. Huh? You was out here to willfully telling lies. Stop playing with Freedman is what I'm trying to tell you. Don't, well, then don't play with us then. All right? No, we hit hard. All right? When you play games and try to play psychological games with us, when we hit back, we hit hard. And a lot of you ho-ass niggas, you get scared and try to hide up underneath or something and start trying to play victim. This is why we ain't hearing you, dude. Because if he had any type of ammunition to get out the gate and ride with this lie a little bit further, he still would be talking crap. You know why he's so humble? Because he's been forced to put his damn, all right, uh, uh, his head between his butt cheeks, Hawks, and sit there. All right? That's why. Every, every lie he's put out here has been refuted publicly. All right? So he's been forced to just sit over there, all right, uncomfortable, like, all right, and look stupid. He couldn't wait for somebody to say something about him be about but he let him finish and then he sort of said that at the end but you know i really don't think i, I kind of wonder what would happen if puerto ricans show up to the film are they going to be her stop dude now he names puerto ricans as a whole this is why i said he's trying to get the government involved are Puerto Ricans going to be harmed at the streaming? Look at his face. Nigga, you're not as slick as you think you are. You white supremacist bastard. That's why I say with y'all little, your pale skin coming in here, you can identify as white. You're trying to rip off hip hop. You ain't got no swag of your own. All right, so you've been renting and borrowing hip hop for as long as you could to identify why you running around here talking a bunch of silly crap. We reject your deposit. And now since we don't want your funky ass in here, he tries to point at all Puerto Ricans. No, all Puerto Ricans wasn't talking what you was talking. That treatment, Mr. Cologne, is especially for you. Don't bring the rest of Puerto Rican society in it because you too much of a coward to fight your own battles. Don't try to bring the U.S. government in it because you too much of a coward to just get the hell out of here. And you don't scare us. All right? No, nigga. Unlike you, we've been giving this government here the business halls since before your family fled over here to eat off of us. All right? I don't want to hear it. No, we've been giving their asses the business. 
You think we give a care if you go scream and whistle to them? That ain't going to stop nothing, dude. You're a liar and you're not respected, Halls, and that's your problem. Harassed. Are they going to be hurt? This has gone too far. And it ain't going nowhere. Ain't nobody hit you, dude. You over here off of bullshit subliminal threats where a person is just telling you, look, do not come to our screening to antagonize us. Since you don't believe that it was only Freedman that created hip hop, that's your personal belief to stay with, dude. But do not come into a movie theater on premiere day in New York City in front of a bunch of damn Freedman antagonizing them just by your bald headed ass being in there. All right. Because what they're saying around is, no, nobody will incentivize a person to put their hands on you. Tariq is not going to tell somebody that they can kick you behind. All right? But he's not going to tell them in the same breath what to do and how to move. Huh? No, we're not here to, 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 for, you know, to promote you getting your ass whooped, but we ain't going to stop you from getting one either. That's what his fear is about. We're supposed to pull out a blow horn and say, hey, yo, leave Mr. Cologne. Yo, leave Cologne alone, yo. Leave him alone. He good. Yo, his face stamp. He, your face ain't good. You ain't good, Hawks. And you see all the rest of these whole ass niggas around here paying heavy on receipts because you don't play with us, dude. Every last whole nigga that you done set up in here and tried to steal hip hop with are in this failing, broken down publicly lane. You wanted to off, offer up crowns to bust the bust the rhymes and give him the keys to all this little lanes of hip hop. And, and he can't even sell his damn tour, dude. No tickets. This shit has severely backfired on each and every clown that was involved especially you all right ain't no olive branch to extend we never had a bridge with you halls never i'm not going to be part of this problem i'm trying to be part of the solution of bringing an understanding of sitting at the table together and reasoning together like men and not about what your lies because black people are not going to let you sit at the table and lie to them, dude. You guys didn't create hip hop. Not like children, not like teenagers. We're grown men and we might disagree on hip hop. That's okay. This is nothing to make those kind of statements on a live is kind of crazy. No, it isn't. You're just scared. But you know, I pray for that brother that made the statement. I'm not mad at him. I wish he would have sort of kept that to himself. And No. Why? So you can feel comfortable, Halls? The point is to make you feel uncomfortable. You're not wanted here. All right? So why sit here and act like you are? We've had to watch you navigate around and try to create all this mischief just because the trailer came out, dude. All right. He's trying to get as much promotion he can off of this because without certain things like this, the little worthless dude sitting in the corner biting off hip hop really don't have any incentive. Nobody really needs you around. All right. They needed a couple of throw throwaway guys and you were one of them. But he said what he said and he felt what he felt. And it is what it is. So if I have ever said anything to my black brothers and sisters that have been offensive i ask you to please forgive me no nigga, because that ain't a genuine apology it's not a genuine apology and you did this video to try to sneak law enforcement on tyreek nasheed and any other black person that is invested into that uh microphone check documentary we don't accept your apology all right, take your stanking ass on. Stay out of black people's face. Stay out of our damn business, or we will reprimand you again. All right, with your bean head ass. All right, 
All right, the hit dog is always crying when you got him in a headlock and he find out, you no, know, all of a sudden your black homeboys ain't fooling with you no more. They see what you want. No, you're only going to give us that one opportunity where white daddy shows up with the bag and you give us your ass to kiss. You already did that move already. We will not open up the vanguard here again to let your punk ass up in here so you can try us one more again. Stay off of our lawn, get stay out black people's conversations and out of our business, and we straight. Uh-huh. Exactly. Right. Shout out to the one LVZ. You, you, you tell him stay way out of our damn business, dude. You ain't got no business. All right, this man tried to literally sit the, sit the feds on Tyreek and anybody with an interest for microphone check. You sit back and listen to this. He took this small, petty little interview where Tyreek clearly, as clear as they said, hey, let me clear this up because old Cologne will be in here fronting as if somebody had threatened his life. And sure enough, he's not going to be out here making a thousand YouTube videos trying to get notoriety. And this is how we know you stink. You can't get a damn thing on your own. You are a damn parasite and a leech ever since we've seen this little bald-headed Klansman. All right? I'm going to call you what you are. All right? Well, let's, let's, skip, let's, let's, skip the, let's skip the goddamn uh, uh, soft tones and soft touches All right, for what he is. These guys are coming to us vicious, trying to rip us off of our lineage, dude. All right? Can't nobody look. Nobody's going to tell somebody to go touch up Mr. Cologne, and he knows that. But we're not going to tell somebody, all right, or stop someone from putting a foot in your hind paws. Because chances is, if you pissed us off about being in our business, we don't know what the hell you done did to somebody else to get them stared up. I ain't taking a punch for you. No. All right. From social media. To, uh, like we say here, from his startup, when the microphone check trailer came out up till now, all right, he's been nothing but disrespectful and a, and a full-blown liar, dude. Like He keep coming everywhere lying, man, for no reason. All right, this was the conversation there. Let's see if I can pull this up. This was the conversation with Tyreek here. Hmm. I got to give it a second. I didn't play this here for so long. And it might be slowing it down. Fair use, fair use. And played a couple times. Let me repost this just in case. But ugh, doesn't even matter. We reject this deposit, dude. Get out of here, nigga. All right. You ain't about to come in here and pull anything off like this. There it is again. Here he comes right here again. That quickly. All right. In a recent Tariq Ashid live, uh, one of his callers made some pretty, some pretty ugly statements when it came to myself and the microphone check uh screening in new york city rather than me tell you about it i want to let you listen to it and then i'm going to come back and give some commentary mm. grace and peace and as far as your the, the microphone check for me brother i'm gonna be there brother sage be coming through with the family all the bells and whistles um uh something that's actually uh bothering me and i, I believe that you said on one of your spaces that dr cologne is trying to make an appearance yeah uh, I, I I don't think that would be a very good idea, brother. And I'm gonna tell you why, because um not only me, but a lot of the family have a lot of personal people. We have a lot of I'm from the Bronx, by the way. So mm. I have a lot of family from the Bronx and we have uh, a, lot, a lot of people, a lot of our elders in our family are highly offended by Fat Joe, Buster Rhymes, and Dr. Cologne's remarks. So him uh, him attending this premiere would be only antagonizing to the family. And um I'm just gonna say this, I'm not holding nobody back. If they feel the urge to, you know, jump up and act bad. This is what we're saying. And he didn't even say himself that he was going to attack you. He never said anything about putting his hands on, Do on, on Dr. Cologne. 
He said he wouldn't be involved. No different than what I would say and what you and anybody else here would go ahead to say. No, I'm not here to come kick you behind. All right, psychologically, we have destroyed him enough for him to come out here and apologize and be, be moving like a damn worm. All right. Now, afterwards, with this conversation, I need y'all to hear this clearly because he even tried to lie some more to say that Tyreek didn't do anything to manage this situation correctly and he should have cut the man off half sentence and all that. He Tyreek had no reason to cut him off because all the brother said is that, look, they are, I'm from the Bronx. There's people from the Bronx that take the things that he did personally. So I'm not going to stop anybody from putting hands and feet on him. All right. I wouldn't recommend you coming in. All right. That's it. There's nothing to stop for him to go ahead to check it because that man directly never threatened him. All right. No, I'm just saying he just gave out some health advice, Halls. That's it. All right. Hold on. If you want to be honest. So um, so it, it, it would be uh and his it would behoove him not to show up at this premiere, not to antagonize the fam. Let us have our space, let us tell our truth, and let us set the record straight. And I'll leave there, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Now, now, now let me say for the record, now everybody's invited. Everybody's invited because I don't want Derek Cologne to hear this. Lord, I don't want him to hear this. And then he's going to make 20 videos. Oh, my God. They're threatening me if I go to the premiere of the movie. Oh, they're going to. Th no, no, no. Because no, he, no. Everybody, y'all can come. You got everybody can come. We're going to make sure, you know, yeah, yeah, we, we, we're not. It's, it's open to the public. This is a, a public movie. Everybody can come to it. Everybody can come to it. I don't want Cologne to run out here thinking that somebody going to do something to him because he's been on that already. He's been on that vibe like somebody's going to do something to him. Nobody's. No, no, no. No, no, no. Everybody can come enjoy. And let's be clear here. Since Dr. Cologne has started and a lot of these other weirdos, like they would like nothing more than for somebody all right, a Friedman descent to put their foot in their hind part. That's why I tell folks, don't put your hands on any of these clowns. All right, so they can run around. If they get mad, you know, they can't have a conversation, so they just put their hands and feet on me. Well, how do the other cultures do it? Huh? All right, we're the only group that's supposed to be nonviolent for disrespect. No, everybody else, you get put in a headlock. All right, you end up, you can't find a person. All right, the person got six and a half lumps upside their forehead. You know, when you disrespect them and try to steal from them, you try to rob Friedman, well, then you should have the gall and there should be enough space for you to sashay your punk ass back here in front of black people. And, 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 well, you know, it was all a misunderstanding, right? If I offended anyone, if I, nigga, get your punk ass out of here. We don't need, nor we don't want, nor need nothing from you. You ain't got nothing to offer us. We got everything to offer you. That's why so many of these whole dudes, the moment they get a taste of hip hop, they don't want to leave. Takashi 6 ix is a hoe. Got beat up in a Planet Fitness by some random dudes in here. Why? All right. All this trolling and playing games on the Internet and lying and bluffing about his status. All right. In the end of the game, order is, as I say, to use his name. When y'all had him at that Fox Soul interview, when he first came home from jail, he's sitting here talking about blackballing and, damn, they won't put me on the list. And it's, it's like Nick, black folks ain't entitled to give you nothing. We don't have to let you in here, dude. That's your goddamn problem. You feel like when it's a group of black folks in here and we go ahead to get organized to get on code that because, no, you got a little black cooch back in the day, all right, and you know how to drink Kool-Aid and roll blunts and all this, that somebody should let you in the room. Hell no. This is why he been getting carried the way he has. You're a sucker, and at this point, you work for the police, dude, talking like this. Enjoy yourself. Do your do your thing. Well, I mean, that said it all. I'm truly sorry that that brother feels that way and that it had to get to this point. If I have said anything to the black community 
it has always been that black Americans along with Puerto Ricans and Caribbeans created this culture beautifully together. It has always been together. I have never said anything to insult the black community. Those are my brothers and sisters. And I'm sorry that people feel that I'm doing something that I'm not. That's a backhanded apology. So it's not an apology. So you're apologizing for not doing anything. That's not antagonizing. You're telling us, even in this case, he's going to tell you he still supports his old opinions. What are you around us for then? What, so you can have scrutiny and criticisms and, and be talking slick with to sabotage the premier? What would a punk ass dude like you be around a bunch of black folks who don't want you around for? Oh, you have a failed career, and this has been the best cases of resurrection ever since Friedman paid attention to you. But the problem is, is that it hasn't been in a good standing. All right. He still holds animosity. This is why he feel I got I'm going to apologize to you, but I still hate you niggas. We can smell it on you, Halls. You ain't faking to us to honorary get in with some of us. And it, no. We smell the Negro hate and disgust on you. You feel like we cost you everything. So I will refrain from attending the screening because I don't want to be the cause of something that is basically a serious misunderstanding. No, it ain't Halls. People understand who the operatives is. On that notion, I want to say good morning to the good family. Everybody have a beautiful and blessed day. All right, we'll be back to chop it up some more here in a minute. Bottom line, Santee Walton.